Hello, my dear students. Welcome to this video. Today I am going to revise questions and answers on part A, financial management. And this is the video three. In this video, I am going to complete unit two on financial management. First question: What is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting is also called capital expenditure budget or investment decision budget. What is the meaning? It means or it refers to long term planning for proposed capital outlays and their financing. This is called capital budgeting. What is long term planning for proposed capital outlay? It means and includes raising long term funds and utilizing long term funds. So two activities are there. One is raising or obtaining long term funds and utilizing long term funds. That is called capital budgeting. One meaning. There is also another meaning. Capital budgeting also means investing in capital assets. What do you mean by the word capital asset? It means fixed assets. So simply speaking, investing in fixed assets. Example, building, machinery, land, furniture, projects. So this is called capital budgeting. Next question. What is cost of capital? Cost of capital simply means a minimum rate of return a firm must earn on its investment. Simple point. A minimum rate of return a firm must earn on its investment. For what purpose? To see that the market value of shares will not fall. So cost of capital has got two characteristics. One is earning or maintaining minimum rate of return that a firm wants to earn. Another thing is the duty is to see that the market value of shares will not fall. So what is the minimum rate of return? It is meant for maximizing wealth called wealth maximization. If the minimum rate of return is not obtain or the return is below minimum that firm reputation that firm's image will be affected so cost of capital is nothing but a minimum rate of return a firm must earn on its investment so it has got three components there are three components in cost of capital one is a return at zero risk level, the first component. Return at zero risk level. Second component, premium for business risk. And third component, premium for financial risk. So three components are there. So there is one equation to understand the meaning of cost of capital. The equation is K, capital K, is equal to small r, r, o, r, 0, you can call it as r, 0, plus b, plus f, all are small letters, k only capital, k stands for cost of capital, so k is equal to small r, 0, what is r, return, at 0 risk level, that is called r, 0, plus b, b stands for premium for business risk, plus F. F stands for premium for financial risk. So what is the equation? K is equal to R0 plus B plus F. This is called cost of capital. Next question. Capital rationing. What do you mean by the term capital rationing? It refers to putting restrictions on the investment of capital project and capital assets. 
why the company wants to have restriction on investment because the company has only limited funds so the limited funds of the company should be utilized profitably and properly so the company wants to restrict its investment for which three steps must be followed the first step identifying and choosing projects the first step after identifying and choosing the project the second important step is ranking the projects suppose there are four projects or five projects these five projects should be ranked on the basis of their profitability so the first step is identifying and choosing the projects the second step is ranking the projects on the basis of their profitability and then selecting the profitable project and investing selecting and investing in the profitable project what is profitable the number first rank the project which obtains first rank that project can be selected for investment so this is called capital rationing so simply means utilizing the limited funds on the investment of profitable project this is called capital rationing then goodbye